drive one, you have to run electronic logs or any kind of logging system. Um, legally, you do not need a CDL to drive a cargo van, but some companies might require you to have a, depending on your state, uh, a chauffeur's license or class C as in Charlie commercial license so there's A would be tractor trailer B would be straight truck over 26,000 pounds then your C license I think covers you from anything under 10,000 pounds up to 26,000 but you depending on your state or company you go with you really don't need it now as for e-logs and all that stuff do you need e-logs in a van no anything under 10,000 pounds you do not have to log or scale so that means uh, you see the scale houses are open you don't pull in there unless it's a state that's state you know a state that says uh, I'm trying to think I think it's North Dakota anything under um, or over uh, 8600 pounds or something like that then you would have to pull in there in a van I think there's only like two or three states in the United States in Canada as long as you're not over 4500 kg which is I think 10,000 10, pounds or some stupid thing or 9950 you don't have to scale their log so that's that's that the only time you would ever have to scale and log is if you're hauling hazmat and the freight I believe is over it's explosive or something um, and fire or something whatever it can catch fire I think you would have to pull in the scales then and run paper logs those are really that's the only time you would ever have to do that if it's if you're hauling hazmat that's over ten over a thousand pounds um, you'd have to check with your company on that whatever company policy and stuff like that is if you're going with somebody like FedEx or XPO or Panther or somebody like that they'll they will let you know what the company call what their company policies are and how they want you to do stuff just from a regular Joe Schmo that's going to get on with uh, somebody like Lone One or maybe they have their own running authority. You can, basically, it's the Wild Wild West. You can do whatever you want. Or an unregulated commercial vehicle is what you are. Is so anything under 10,000 pounds? It's the Wild Wild West. You can drive yourself stupid. There's no hours of service. There's really no regulations as to what there would be in a you know uh, semi or straight truck type thing so basically you're free to do what you want but uh, you know use that with caution don't be stupid drive two days straight without sleep or something like that hey what's going on guys so um, I'm off my home time now first load out ended up uh, getting a trip had to deadhead to uh, Bellwood Illinois which is a suburb of Chicago and it's going to Guelph Ontario it's not without a little bit of controversy because I got there and uh, nobody knew what I was getting it was a 3 a.m. pickup um, so I, I headed out early in the yesterday afternoon to get to get there. It was about an hour away from the truck stop to sleep at for a couple hours, get up and go there. And uh, freight was ready. Nobody knew nothing. Somebody dropped the ball. And uh, basically didn't send an email or whatever to this uh, person in shipping and when 
was behind the eight ball. So otherwise, I would have been loaded at three, boogieing down the road, and probably been almost in Gulf, Ontario now. It's uh, well, well, something golf from my baby wipes. But uh, right now it's about nine. I'm close to 9.30 Detroit time, Eastern Standard Time or whatever they call it and uh, I probably would have almost been there by now but these things happen in expediting and trucking and transportation stuff goes awry so if you're getting into this don't get too freaking pissed off or whatever it, it happens, it's annoying, yes when it happens it was annoying yesterday that I had to keep making phone calls to call dispatch to find out no they don't have that pickup number they don't have anything going they had to call the broker and I think the broker ended up calling there to find out or the customer ended up calling there to find out what's going on and la -di da -di da the lady had to call somebody to wake her boss up they finally figured out that it was their screw up so that does happen time to time. Nothing's, you know, it never goes smooth sailing. But um, that kind of thing happens, so keep that in mind. did not have chance to film them offload me I'm gonna start doing that uh, this one was a really rush job because I was delayed at the shipper by three and a half hours then I ran into a problem where I couldn't print the paperwork off and my printer I wasted about half hour with that trying to set it up and I had to go stop at a truck stop to get my paper to cross the border, my uh, ACI manifest. And um, then I got delayed at the border for probably a good, I guess maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. So these guys were kind of chomping at the bit to get their stuff. The lady's like, oh, you know, we thought you were going to be here. I said, yeah, I got delayed. Oh, okay. You know, but is what it is. It's life. It happens. It sucks. But can't really do anything about it. So move on. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you guys later on. Bye for now.